Happy Mother's Day to both of you ladies. Welcome. Thanks, John. So, Mary, Happy I want to I want to start with you. Uh, if you look at the Sunday talk show landscape this morning, you will see John McCain, Newt Gingrich, and your friend and old boss Dick Cheney. And as we showed in our last segment, the cover of Time magazine this week is Endangered Species. As you know, on the left, they're having a field day with the Sunday lineup saying, great, if that's the face of the Republican Party, you know, more of it. Let's have more to it, specifically to the point of the former vice president. You know the debate he has stirred up over the past several weeks, beginning right here on State of the Union. Helpful or hurtful to the Republican Party for Dick Cheney to be out there so much? Well, if you consider the as I do, as most conservatives do, that republicanism and conservatism are not necessarily synonymous, that when Republicans aspire in the Senate is when they go back to what they do best, which is radical reform and being a party of ideas, as they did post-64, as they did post-92, when uh, you have the people who best exemplified and represent those ideas getting the, and articulate them, like Newt Gingrich and Vice President Cheney, then that's a good thing. You'll, you'll note whenever uh, the Democrats attack uh, Dick Cheney for being out or what he's saying, they never attack the ideas. There's never an answer for what he's speaking about. It's always just a personal attack. Specifically, and I'm sure he's speaking uh, even as we speak now, about how really damaging and dangerous it was for this president to release the uh, legal memos on the EITs, on the enhanced interrogation. Uh, techniques. Very dangerous, very bad precedent, and will come back to haunt this president. So rather than have an argument about that, there's a personal attack on Dick Cheney, which means there's no argument against the ideas, which goes to what the Republicans need to do, which is to quit being an echo, as Goldwater said, really the godfather of conservatism, and present a clear choice. You want to jump in on that one? Is well, there, is it, are there personal attacks, or will you take on the ideas? Well, I think Mary's probably the best spokesperson the Republicans have right now. Um, but the, I, you know, the attacks on Dick Cheney have been fairly specific. I mean, he, after all, I think, came in, into this network and said um, that he thinks that the president is making this country less safe. So um, the responses back have been about where Americans feel that, that we have been less safe and that the uh, more vulnerable and, and um, President Obama, as we see from the polls, has been addressing that. And in fact, Americans now feel more safe uh, under this president than they did over the last several years. I find that poll fairly remarkable. I want to shift, I want to shift our focus. Hillary and I, Mary, you're in New Orleans, safely out of the Beltway. Hillary and I were at this annual event in Washington last night. It's the White House Correspondents' Dinner. It is meant to have fun. We the, missed you, The Mary. president came, and he was, he's a good performer. He I told didn't a lot miss of funny you guys, jokes. sorry. The, the, the entertainment was Wanda Sykes, the, the very funny comedian. And she was very funny and very pointed in her humor. But then she reached a point where many think she crossed the line. I want you to listen to Wanda Sykes last night. And I want both of your reactions. She's talking here about Rush Limbaugh and his statements that he believes that he would like Obama's administration, which he calls liberal socialism, to fail. Let's listen. To me, that's treason. He's not saying anything differently than what Osama bin Laden is saying. You know, you might want to look into this, sir, because I think maybe Rush Limbaugh was the 20th hijacker, but he was just so strung out on Oxycontin, he missed his flight. Hillary Rosen, I know you're not a fan of Rush Limbaugh, but was that over the line? You know, uh, Rush Limbaugh gets by on theater. That's, and when every, anyone holds him accountable for his words, when he says things like, I want this administration to fail and I'm proud of it, when he makes fun of, of politicians, his defense is always, listen, you know, I'm as much entertainment as I am substance. Mm -hmm. Wanda Sykes hitting right back in the entertainment. I think it's fair game. Fair game to call Rush Limbaugh the 20th hijacker, Mary? Well, it, I rest my case. It's a perfect example. It epitomizes what I just said about rather, not that it's Wanda Sykes responsibility or within her capacity to make an argument against what Rush Limbaugh talks about every day, which is the essence of conservatism, she attacks him personally. So it's, it's just part of what the paradigm is when you confront conservative ideas. Just like the Democrats can, uh, let me go back to the torture thing. Torture, there, this is not torture. What the enhanced interrogation techniques were, were legal. They were limited. They were used on waterboarding, which has become all that is completely blown out of context, was used on three people, which Nancy Pelosi knew about. She at least knew about Abu Zubaydah, which led us to KSM, which led us to thwart all those second wave attacks, which saved lives. So much of what we what made us safe 
was classified is now coming out in a way that's going to make us less safe you, in the future. You know what's so coming. rather than take on those arguments, we call, we call Rush Limbaugh Ladies, a drug addict. I'm going to call time out here because we're over time here. I could spend all day with two of my favorite ladies and favorite moms. So we're going to have to call it quits for today, but we will have this conversation, I suspect, many times in the weeks ahead. Hillary Rosen, Mary Madeline, thanks so much for coming in this morning.